Lash and I'm here outside the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos looking at artificial intelligence. Intense. Really pleased to be joined by Fabian Beckers. Thanks so much for coming on. So pleased to be here. Thank you. Founder and CEO of Arturus. Now tell me, first of all, you're looking at artificial intelligence imaging yes. the heart. Yes. Tell me about it. Yes. We try to help doctors to bring medical imaging uh, and AI together to help them better diagnose patients. So in the sense of the heart, what is very hard to do, for example, for doctors, is to understand how to quantify those ventricles that takes hours to really segment and takes time to do. And through deep learning, we've proven that for the first time that sending our cloud, having compute, you can do that automatically. Mm -hmm. And it's as accurate as an expert doing by hand. So what are you looking for in particular? What, are the, what is the, uh, the deep learning looking for? Sure, so uh, in the case of the heart, uh, the heart is a pump. It mm -hmm. has two main chambers, two main mm -hmm. ventricles, and doctors have to basically uh, draw contours mm -hmm. to segment those chambers, understand how much they're pumping each time. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of manual work. Mm -hmm. um, and here, deep learning can basically by itself find those ventricles and quantify them for the doctor so he doesn't have to do it. So half an hour to an hour of work, now it's fully automated. And how long does it take? So how long would it take for a doctor to do it versus the... the I think it's a half an hour minimum to an hour, depending on how much detail mm -hmm. they want to go into. And with deep learning, it's done in, I think, 15 seconds. Okay, goodness, 15 seconds, that's yes. pretty fast. Yes, And what do you need fast. for this? Can you, so I understand that you've just received FDA approval. Correct. Woo, congratulations! We're very excited, very, very excited. So we're the only company, I think, in the world to have a cloud uh, medical imaging analytics product clinically having FDA clearance uh, ever using deep learning. So I think it's a big step showing how can AI can truly transform medicine and help mankind to better diagnose patients. But you couldn't, it's not just the United States, it's not just in big hospitals that you can do it, but you could do it anywhere if you had clearance, is that right? That's correct, Chloe. So we have at the moment CE mark, which is for Europe, as well as uh, FDA clearance. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. and what do you need to do it? So to do, to, to do the, to get the clearance or to train the model. To mm -hmm. train the model, you need to run 1,000 to 2,000 cases of mm -hmm. patient. So you can teach deep learning how to find the right mm -hmm. level of accuracy. Then to get regulatory approval, you need to write for the FDA, I think we wrote 1,800 pages oh of document that were 13 inch high. Okay. Congrats to my team for that. <laughs> uh, amazing team, by the way. And, uh, and again, sort of, uh, FDA by basically approving and really following strictly all their rules on making sure that uh, safety uh, of the patient is, mm -hmm. is pivotal and respected. And what else do you want to apply this to, so beyond the heart? That's a great question. So what we want to do as a, as a company mission is to truly act on data-driven medicine. There's mm -hmm. millions of data today that's sitting there taking dust, mm -hmm. and you want to leverage it to truly enable data-driven medicine. So we start with the heart, now we're going to oncology, try to make sense of all that data that is out there, to try to help the radiologist to find tumors, to track them automatically, to classify them. Mm -hmm. Doctor will always be able to override with helping them, um, and also start bringing uh, outcome data to bring kind of send to tell them which treatment has been the most effective on a global scale. So that's the mission of the, of the company we think can help uh, million or billion people. Now you're not just a, a company man, you're here as part of the World Economic Forum and I believe you're on an interesting, um, an interesting group. Tell me yes, about that. Yes, correct. This is a project that the World Economic Forum to bring a value-based care, which is something mm -hmm. that's very dear to my heart. And I'm on the steering committee of that project trying to help and meet the other member of the committee to see how can we accelerate that transition, which will be pivotal also. So tell me, what is value-based care? So value-based care is a way that we're approaching uh, uh, healthcare today is all about reducing cost. Mm -hmm. And so the way we want to move that paradigm today is by really improving outcomes while reducing costs and basically leveraging the data in order to really enable the physician to have all the right information to make the right diagnosis. And today that doesn't exist, and that's why we're trying to enable uh, with the World Economy Forum and with Arturus. Thank you so much, Fabian, Thank for stopping so by the Hub Culture Pavilion. I'm very and happy I'm to be here. Lush. Thank you very much.